we're going to talk about how you can use filters in Gmail for three different things. To help your emails go to the tab you want, to add colorful labels to highlight messages in your inbox, and finally to have messages skip your inbox if you don't need to see them right away. We'll also look at editing and deleting existing filters. Let's start off by talking about tabs and how to make messages go to a specific tab. Let's say you get a message in your updates that you want to be in the primary tab. You can create a filter to control that. Start by opening one of the messages you want to work with. And on the right hand side by the reply button, click the three dots and use filter messages like this. That's going to automatically fill in the information about that message. In most cases, the email address it's sent from. Click on search, you'll see the types of messages this would apply to. I'm going to click on the drop down in the top to open this up again, and then I'm going to click create filter. From this, I have a lot of different options of what I can do to these messages. In this case, I want to make sure that I categorize these messages not as updates, but as primary, and this will make messages go to my primary tab. I can choose other options in here as well. If I want to add a label, maybe I want to make sure these don't go to spam, mark them as important. The other thing that in some cases I can do is apply this to matching conversations. So in other words, the ones I already have that I can see in the background here of my filter window. In some cases, this doesn't work retroactively, but if you'll see the checkbox and there isn't a note by it, you can apply it to old messages. Go ahead and click on Create Filter. It'll take a moment to process, especially because I'm applying it to old messages. It takes a moment to process, and then once it does, those messages will now show up in my primary tab. The next thing you can do with filters is add a colorful label, like it says help ticket here and VIP there. And this is a great way to make messages kind of pop and stand out more when you view them in your inbox. So this one, we're going to start off by using the search to create our filter. So up in the top in the search, click on the drop down and then fill in whatever you want to filter by. In some cases, it might be a full email address. In some cases, it might be just the domain. So maybe you want to apply to everything from your domain. In this case, I'm going to put down my coworker's email address in the from field, and I'm going to leave everything else as it is and click create filter. And here, what I want to do is apply a label, and I'm going to create a new label called important person. If you use nesting labels, I could choose where I want it nested. For now, I'm going to leave it at the top level, and I'll click on create. Of course, if I already had a label I wanted to apply, I could just choose the existing label from the list here. As I scroll down through, sometimes when you have a message you want to mark as important, it's also good to mark and never send it to spam. And when I scroll down here, I'm also going to say, let's apply this to all my existing conversations. But in this case, you'll see there is a note here, and it's telling me this filter can't be applied to any conversations in my spam or trash. So I checked never send it to spam, and it's telling me it can't pull things out of spam with this filter. But in the future, messages that match this search will not go to spam. So when I click filter, again, it will take a moment to process. When I see the confirmation message in the bottom left, my filter was created, I know it's set. And I'll see the important person label on the messages from that sender. If you want to add a color, on the left hand side, if you don't see your labels, click on the menu option to open them up, and then you want to scroll down and find the label that you want to change the color of. Hold your mouse over it, click the dots, and then you'll see the label color option, which allows you to add a color to that and make that label really pop. The final thing I want to do is show you how to make a message that maybe I don't need to see right away move out of my inbox and go to a label I've set up for it so I can read them later when I have a chance. Here is a, a newsletter that I don't need to read right away, so I'm going to create a filter from this message by clicking the drop down and using filter messages like this. In this case, this is a message that sent through a list, so it's going to populate the listserv kind of information there automatically for me, and I'll click Create Filter. For anything that you don't want to get in your inbox, you choose Skip the Inbox, and in this case, I actually want to apply a label so they're all collected in one place, and I can go and read them later. I'll create my label here. I'm going to call it News and click on Create. And now these messages will skip my inbox and go directly to the News label. 
I can check any of the other options I want to check here. For now, I'm just going to click a Create Filter. And these messages I'll now find in my new news label here. In this case, I didn't apply it to my existing conversation, so this will only work going forward. And I'll start to see these in here once I get my next message. Now, let's say you want to change a filter. You don't want it to do the same behavior anymore. You can get to your filters to change them or remove them through the settings gear in the top right corner, see all settings. At the top, you'll click filters and blocked addresses. And then if you scroll through here, you'll find the one you want to change or remove. And you can either click edit and refill in the filter options, or you can simply delete that filter. None of the messages will be affected, but that filter won't do its filter functions anymore. So in that case, I won't get the label added anymore. If I've created a label I don't need anymore, I can hold my mouse over that label, click on the three dots to the right, and I'll click on remove label. This does not affect the conversations, it just takes the label off. So in this case, the messages would still be in my mail, they would just be in all mail instead of in this important person label. So that is how you can work with filters to do a lot of great organizing in your Gmail.